heard right <laughs> minor pentatonic scale minor blues scale awesome stuff but after a while it gets a little boring and you might be there because it's such a cool scale but you can do more and that's coming up hi my name is david rollman welcome to this channel which is all about helping guitar players like you find their voice develop it to tell your own musical story, which is awesome. Nobody can tell it the way you tell it if you do the work. And hopefully you'll find some ideas in these videos that will help you bring out some of these ideas that are really personal and deeply rooted into your heart through the guitar. And today we're gonna to talk about uh, a topic that is often overlooked because it seems very difficult. Players usually get into lead guitar with the pentatonic scale because it's such a cool scale to, to play. And you heard some of the in the beginning, and that's because it falls really comfortably under the fingers. Some of the bends are, are, are reachable, and especially in that first position, it's really easy to reach those notes, and it's just a very comfortable position. And with comfort comes freedom to express yourself because you don't really have to think about the technical difficulty of placing your fingers. Usually the patterns that we use are two notes per string patterns. And usually there's only two shapes to learn. In this first position of E minor, for example, one shape uses the index pinky and the other shape uses the index ring. And then we just need to learn where those fall. And so many players actually only use that first position. Yes, it can be expressive. Yes, it sounds awesome. But hear me out. We're gonna talk a little bit about modes, which yes, I've covered that so many times in my videos, but hopefully this will, will help a little more. What we're gonna do here today is actually look at the construction of some of the most popular modes. Modes can be seen as scales and we have a set of modes that are going to work over major chords and a set that's going to work over minor chords and there are three in each categories for the major ones the three modes that are going to use our ionian also known as the major scale lydian and mixolydian and they all have their own flavor their own, their own sound ionian usually is more of a classical feel Mixolydian is where you have all the blues, blues rock type of type of uh, licks happening. And then Lydian is more of a dreamy, atmospheric, um, epic type of sound. That kind of thing. On the minor side, we also have three commonly used minor modes that we're going to use. One of them is the Aeolian, and it kind of goes along with the Ionian in the feel that it's going to give you. Now, it's a minor mode; it works over a minor chord, but it sounds a little classically type, type, very predictable, stable. <laughs> Then we have Dorian, which kind of goes with the Mixolydian. That's the world of blues, rock, funk. And then we have Phrygian, which I think goes with the Lydian, and that's more dreamy, atmospheric, world music, a little different. And again, it's a minor mode, it works over a minor chord. Now, I played these three uh, major modes, three minor modes, one after the other, and uh, they sounded kind of similar, really. And that's because they're very similar. If we study the major modes, we'll see that if we compare them, we have five notes in common. The major pentatonic scale, 
if we compare the three minor modes, we also have five notes in common, the minor pentatonic scale. And we're very fluent with the minor pentatonic scale, right? Typically. So really, you're not far away. You're only two notes away. And, and a lot of times when people start getting into modes, they have this minor pentatonic background. Great, they can phrase no problem over that and, and they're expressive. And then when they play modal, for some reason, guitar teachers teach the three note per string pattern, which is cool. For all the speed stuff. But phrasing usually goes down the drain because people are used to phrasing with the, the caged, uh, more of the caged box, like the, the pentatonic shapes that, that are kind of narrower and they have all this vocabulary with the pentatonic stuff and then they need to phrase modally and they're, they're just lost because that pattern, it facilitates all the, um, the sequences. But the phrasing, the melodic stuff is, is not as easy to use with that. So today I'm gonna to show you a way to blend both worlds by, by starting with the pentatonic scales, all the phrasing that you already have, and all you need to do is know which notes to add to your minor pentatonic scale. So I have a, a sustain pedal here, which is attached to my synthesizer. So I'm gonna play a chord and we'll be in E minor and I'll let that sustain and I'll demonstrate different things. I'm gonna do a close up for this. It'll make more sense. Take notes as you go and uh, let's get started. All right, we're gonna consider the key of E for the following examples and we're gonna start with the minor modes. Dorian, Phrygian, Aeolian. Remember Dorian is more of a blues type of thing. Aeolian, classical, Phrygian, world music, ambient, that kind of stuff. These three minor modes have in common five notes the minor pentatonic scale. Played in its first position right here in E. Now, from that minor pentatonic scale, I can extract some notes to build a chord. And the cool thing is that I can find within that minor pentatonic scale, the notes of a minor seven chord. So I've got my keyboard here. I've got a root, which is E. I'm gonna play that. On top of that, I'm gonna stack a minor third. I'm gonna skip the fourth, I'm gonna play a uh, perfect fifth, and a minor seventh, which is right here. Now, this chord will work in Dorian, Phrygian, Aeolian, because that chord is extracted from the five common notes between Dorian, Aeolian, Phrygian. Now, what if I play this, the first position of a D minor pentatonic scale over this? Am I in Dorian? Sure, yeah, but I'm also in Phrygian and Aeolian. So I need to add two notes to that minor pentatonic scale. Knowing which notes will work uh, and correspond to the, the three modes that we're looking after will give us the modal phrasing we're after. Okay, let's stop that. Now let's take a closer look at our minor pentatonic scale. We have a root, a minor third, a uh, uh, fourth, fifth, and minor seventh. Okay, we're missing a second and a sixth. So the answer lies in those two notes, right? We need to know which kind of second, which kind of sixth to add to a minor pentatonic scale to have Dorian, Phrygian, Aeolian. And I'm gonna tell you right now what it is. For Dorian, we have a major second and a major sixth. That's all you need to know. So Dorian equals minor pentatonic plus major second, major sixth. Now, where are those notes? Well, they're here on the screen and that's why knowing your intervals is really important. I'll refer to another lesson that is free on my channel here after this video. But you can see on the screen that all we need to do is phrase with our minor pentatonic scale and every once in a while add either the major second or the major sixth and, and they're listed here in that zone of the fretboard here. And we'll be phrasing Dorian. So let's try that. Here's our chord. And I'm gonna start phrasing minor pentatonic. I'm still in Dorian, right? But, but the Dorian color didn't bring out, didn't come out until I add my major second and my major sixth. 
and it becomes really easy now because you can use all the licks that you've used your whole life. And every once in a while, add that second. Or the major six. So that's for Dorian. Phrygian, we need to add a minor second and a minor sixth. Let's hear that. I'll start minor pentatonic because that's all I know. But I want to bring out that color, so minor sixth, minor second. That screams frigid. Aeolian is a minor pentatonic scale with an additional major second and minor sixth. That's all there is to it. Now let's uh, take a look at the major modes, the commonly used major modes. We have Mixolydian, which is blues rock. We have Ionian, which is kind of classical, and Lydian, which is kind of ambient, atmospheric, dreamy type of thing. So I'm also going to be in E major pentatonic. I'll use the first position. And I'm going to build a chord out of that that is extracted from these notes. So I could use an E, that's the root. I could use a major third, which is found in my major pentatonic scale, a perfect fifth, and um, that's it right now, because the seventh is not included in that major pentatonic scale. And so I could play E major pentatonic. I could be in Mixolydian, Ionian, Lydian. I need to add those characteristic notes. For Mixolydian, you need to add a perfect fourth and a minor seventh. Those characteristic notes for major are going to be found in the fourth and the seventh. So it makes a late in perfect fourth and minor seventh. So if you add these to your major pentatonic phrasing, that's your mixolydian. Ionian is a perfect fourth and a major seventh. Lydian is major seventh and augmented fourth. And now you can phrase modally without having to go through a completely different system, the three note per string, which doesn't necessarily facilitate those melodic ideas. It's more of a sequence type of work. And if you're a blues player, that's how you can play modal. I strongly encourage you to work on this. Take the phrasing ideas that you already have. Take all the vocabulary that you acquired with your, your blues skills, if you're more of a blues player. And, most of us are, and just study which notes to add. You don't need to study them all at once. Just take one mode. The Dorian usually is gonna be your friend if you're more of a blues rock player, and the Mixolydian for the major world is also gonna be your friend for blues rock type of, type of thing. And just start with that. Just uh, study the, the mode that you need to, to work on within a single position, a single minor pentatonic or major pentatonic box, and add those two additional notes. If you want to study this with a, a study worksheet, I have that for you. Just visit the link below, enter a valid email address, and I'll be sending you some charts and some backing tracks for you to practice this concept. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, you should, because every week I have a minimum of three videos coming out, helping guitar players like you find their voice, and if you already found it, develop it to tell your own musical story. Just a bunch of ideas to help you bring this out of your soul through the guitar. Thanks so much for watching this. I'll see you next time.